it's time for Heavy Cardboard's take on Arboretum. Edward. Yeah, so Arboretum, a uh, small little card game, came out this year. In fact, a month or two ago, right. I think, 2015. Designed by Dan Kassar, published by Z-Man Games. Mm -hmm. uh, it plays two to four players. I've played it two and three player myself. I think you've played it two, three, four. Three. Okay. Um, takes anywhere from, I'd say, 10 on the low end, 10 to 15 minutes, up to maybe 30 minutes at yeah. most. Yeah. Um, so what's going on in the game? Arboretum's a set collection and kind of tile placement card game. Uh, Here, hand me that box, sir. Oh. I'm going to watch while you talk. All right. So it's a set collection, kind of tile placement card game. The game consists of a deck of 80 cards. There are 10 different suits, uh, each number one through eight, and each uh, of the suits are a different color and different type of tree or a different species of different tree, species. as it were. The number of players dictates how many species of trees you're going to play with. So out of those, you know, 10 decks, if you're playing two player, you're going to take four of those right. uh, sets out to where you're only playing with six of the, of the different species. Mm -hmm. Each player is dealt seven cards to start, and players take turn drawing two cards from either the deck or any mix of the player's discards. Then they play one card and start building their own arboretum or, or your own tableau. And then you discard one card. Very simple mechanically. Yes. The placement of the card that you play, though, must be orthogonally adjacent to any other card in your tableau. And the game ends when the duck runs out, and then the players attempt to score That's each, spe each species of tree. Whoever has the highest score wins the game. So, like I said, it's, it's a really simple game mechanically, but there's real genius in the building of your arboretum, and the brutal choice of what to discard and the equally kind of painful scoring mechanic. Yeah, you get to this point where you got seven cards in your hand. Well, eight, really, because you've just played one into your Arboretum, and now you have to discard down to seven, and you're like, Ugh. I don't want to get rid of any of these because they either play in my Arboretum or in someone else's. Or it's lessening your score in a particular species. It's brutal. Right. And so let me take a minute and yeah. explain how that works. Please. So to score a species of tree at the end of the game, a player must have a minimum of two trees bookending in an, th an orthogonally adjacent ascending set of cards. Mm -hmm. So it can snake through your arboretum, whatever. Yeah. As long as on either end, there's, say, an olive tree. Right. It doesn't matter. There can be a cassia tree. There can be maple trees. There can be olive trees in between. Or it could be, all be olive trees. Right. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. You get a bonus points if the the run is at least four cards and they're all the same tree right so say four olive trees right. or so yeah that's like that's two points a card instead of one so right it's pretty good to get yeah because there's not a the, the scores are you know in the teens right maybe yeah, um, maybe you also get bonus points uh if you've played the one and or the eight in your tableau dirt for that run if those are the bookend or yep. one of those are the bookends you get one point for the one two points for the eight but notice earlier I said that you may potentially score a species of tree. And the reason that is, in order to score that species of tree, you must have equal to or more than the, the number of pit value. The, the face the, value the, of the card. Right. In your hand at the end of the game. So going back to that olive tree example, mm -hmm. uh, I have to have the highest or tied for the highest value of olive trees in my hand at the end of the game. So I have this great run, whatever, but you have the seven olive tree in your hand, Tony, and I only have the five, or maybe I have, say, the two and the four in my hand for a total of six. Sure. Seven's higher than five or six, whichever I have. Ergo, I can't score olive trees. You can. And if we had tied then we both could score those. Or, or everybody who has olives would be, able to, would be able to score them. The one catch to that, or the one additional catch to that, I should say, is the one in the eight. So eight is the highest card in, the, in a yep. certain species. Eight is bigger than one. Right. However, if you have the eight and I have the one, then your eight gets trumped by my one. 
However, if you had the two and I had the one, your two is higher than one. Right. So you would be able to score it. So basically, it, it all boils down to the one trumps the eight, and that's it. Otherwise, the one is just the weakest card. And that, that causes some interesting decisions in what you keep, what you play in your Arboretum, what you mm -hmm. throw to the other players, too, because... Until a, a one or an eight makes its appearance, you just don't know what the hell's going on. Yep, and and it, you're at risk. And, you know, during the game, you feel like a little bit of tension about your discards. Oh, more than a little bit, I'd say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so another thing, and is the artwork is gorgeous in this game. The the trees, uh, each individual tree has uh, has their own artwork, or I should say, each species of tree has its own artwork. And they're gorgeous. Uh, really pretty. Yeah. It, for fifteen bucks, really good it, it, filler done right. I would say. Absolutely. This is uh, this is definitely one that uh, everybody that likes a thinky filler should get. I I would concur. And normally I would go on and talk about the things that I didn't dig about the game. But I'll be honest, I can't really think of anything. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It works your brain over either as a warm up mm -hmm. or cool down, mm -hmm. you know, for or in between games or whatever. Perfect for that. It's fairly priced, gorgeous artwork. I got nothing. Do you have anything that's the only thing I've ever had a problem with, and it's probably me teaching sometimes to some people mm -hmm. but the one in eight and i have to have more than up here down in my arbor some people haven't grok the scoring until we actually do a scoring round and they go oh i got screwed i understand now well the good news though is with it being a you know 15 20 minute game okay if you didn't get it the first time yeah, yeah. let's shuffle up and deal and that's what we did and play another we played again play another round right um, as far as a rating, we rate on a 1 to 6 scale, mm -hmm. with 1 being lighted on fire, 6 being a Hall of Fame game. For what this is, going up against other fillers, sure. I would rate this as a 5. Oh, I concur. Um, it does what it's intended to do perfectly. Thinky filler, well done. Yep. Yeah? Yes. All right. So that's our burrito. <laughs>